What's up? Uh, my name is Joe. Uh, Mike Jones. And uh, Brandon Bagley. Follow our shared page on Instagram at uh, boosty.boys. B-O-I-S. Yep. This is my 1999 Subaru Impreza uh, 2.5 RS. Um, it's bone stock and that's it. <laughs> So on the exterior, uh, it's mostly stock, but from different cars. Uh, it's got a full repaint, um, PPG repaint in Rally Blue Pearl to be sort of a tribute to the old um, rally cars. Um, I've got BBS RG345 wheels, I think is what they are. Uh, 22B adjustable wing. Um, I've got a six overcrest induction scoop and uh, carbon fiber 22B style uh, uh, hood vent and fog light covers. And I think that's pretty much it for the exterior. I do have some sweet OLM LED uh, lights as well. Rally, um, armor. Rally armor mud flaps. Wouldn't be a Subaru without, without them. Well, I guess mine's not a Subaru. It's not. <laughs> it's not, not a Get out of here. Fish. All right. <laughs> yeah, I think exterior wise, that's pretty much it. Right? So my car is kind of a Frankenstein swap. Uh, it's got a, actually a Legacy B4 um, motor in it, which is a, originally a twin turbo, but it's not as cool as it sounds because I'm only running one turbo. <laughs> um, but I'm running a Force Performance 71 HTA turbo, um, injector dynamics 850cc um, injectors. <laughs> Uh, I've got a teal tile, external wastegate, which is kind of cool because that's not super common. Um, a Grimspeed air oil separator. I have an SPT intake. Um, STI top mount. STI top mount intercooler. Um, so I think, oh, so I have a Catlin oh, yeah. downpipe with a uh, <laughs> Cobb axle back, I believe, or Cobb, what is it? Cobb cat back is what it is. Yeah. Um, tuned by Alex at uh, Ignition Logic. He did a really good job. Um, it's been a lot of fun. So, where did you get most of your parts from? I got most of my parts. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, every every part I could get from Rally Sport, I, I got from Rally Sport. Uh, a lot of them were trips to pick and pull, like ordering things from overseas, like just OEM. Uh, parts and things like that, which are kind of a pain to find, and probably a bunch of other stuff that I'm forgetting. Uh, I'm Mike Jones. I have a 2001 Subaru uh, RS 2.5. Have it swapped with the 2004 STI EJ 257 uh, with a six-speed trans with the ACT heavy-duty clutch and uh, light, uh, street light uh, flywheel. Uh, Grim Speed top mount intercooler, uh, Cobb intake, have a Blausch Dominator 2.5 XTR on a, with a Cobb downpipe and an NVIDIA uh, axle back or cat back. Uh, coil rad from uh, the STI, uh, have the Fuji Heavy Industries strut bar uh, with BC coilovers. And then uh, the Volk Racing uh, CE28 uh, SL uh, with uh, Brembo's. Uh, Recaro Limited Edition Gradient Seats, which I'm so happy I got those. Those things are amazing. Yeah, yeah and like comfort wise, is like. They're super it's comfy. Like, yeah. I mean, you drive your car all day, spend some money on your seats. And then it has the 04 STI dash as well with the Cobb short throw shifter. Uh, Your steering wheel is pretty badass. I got a Nardi steering wheel, uh, re-wrapped, uh, so it's not all chewed up or anything. I uh, got new carpet, I can't remember the company. Uh, starts with a Z. Uh, Zealous Interiors. Zealous Interiors, yeah. Uh, pretty good, fitment was pretty good. Uh, had to cut out like the seat holes and stuff, which was kind of a pain because the carpet was actually pretty thick, uh, which was nice. Or like sound detonating. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it that I can think of. <laughs> Fuel is pretty extensive. Yeah. I mean, oh yeah, I got a uh, Nvidia 1050 uh, injectors. Cobb Inject 1050X. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? Yeah, Cobb 1050X. Uh, injector dynamic 1050X. Oh, yeah. Don't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> And the, the aeromotive fuel rails and fuel lines and fuel pressure regulator from them. 
uh, the, how do you say, the fuel the pump? The DW uh, Deutschworks. Deutschworks uh, 450 fuel pump. Um, exterior mods, I uh, got the Cybon carbon fiber hood, deck lid, and spoiler. Uh, RPG carbon fiber induction hood, uh, scoop, uh, and fog covers, uh, Volk uh, CE28 SLs, uh, and Toyo R88Rs, uh, JDM tails. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it for the outside. And uh, apparently my car is too clean to be a favorite here, so I guess I'll just send it to Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, so my name is Brandon. Uh, this car over here is mine and it's a 2000 Impreza 2.5 RS. Um, as far as exterior modifications go, um, rocking a Cybon uh, spoiler and front uh, lip, um, the CW style front lip. Uh, I've got some Speedline ST2s on there wrapped in Nitto. Um, deleted the uh, side trim on the car and uh, have a couple little JDM goodies kicking around, JDM rear bumper, JDM tails, and uh, the Honeycomb JDM front uh, grill as well. So, yep. Is that a, I guess, is that like for losing or anything like that? Yep. See, that's, that's what it is, that's what it's like. Yeah. Because you've got the... I got like the, the modern styled one. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, and apparently that's what sets me apart is is my eye badge. So yeah. weighs him yeah. down though, it makes him slow. Yeah, we'll get into weight know. modifications yeah, yours, later. Yours is a little heavier than ours. <laughs> my so. balls don't but, count. Uh, <laughs> Got him. <you. laughs> <laughs> yeah, just kind of starting out with power. Uh, it's a JDM 2.0, so a little bit higher compression from what I understand. Um, from that point forward, you know, I took an opportunity to kind of tear the whole thing down and and bolt on what I could. So it's still a stock uh, bottom end, but uh, it's running with the uh, ATP GTX 3071R right now. Uh, Cobb 1050X injectors. Um, and tried to go through and really, you know, set up all the supporting mods around that. So it's got an AEM um, uh, E85 capable pump in it. Uh, redid the fuel system in a parallel configuration went through, uh, put a Process West top mount intercooler on it. Uh, all the other things such as like the IAG air oil separators to make sure that the motor stayed healthy as long as it could. Um, you know, just really kind of breaking down the whole thing. Killer yeah, IAG rails, um, oil pan. TGB deletes, Killer B oil pan. I figured that anything that I bought now could pretty much go over to either a hybrid build or a 2.5 when this thing lets go. So it's just kind of building for the future and until then just keep driving it. Yeah, I mean, it's tuned by uh, Ryan over at Simple Performance, uh, making 335 uh, wheel horsepower and 310 uh, pound-feet torque. Really just kind of went through and, and tried to put everything else back together. So, you know, coil, coil upgraded radiator, radiator with small fans. I'm dealing with uh, a GD dash swap right now and have a couple little gremlins in it, but it's been good so far. So next mods might be, you know, uh, an original dash and an iWire harness, but uh, we'll kind of see what I stumble upon it as I dig into it. Got a lot of white line product under there. Um, did the bump steer kit, got uh, white line strut tower bar, um, got white line rear sway bar mounts uh, with a Cusco bar in there. Uh, ISC coilovers, um, stop tech brakes. Oh yeah, I forgot about the stop tech, <laughs> stop tech brakes and two-piece rotors uh, up front with the WRX two pots in the back with the adapter plates. Nvidia uh, downpipe, downpipe nice. with a Blitz Nurspec catback, Cobb short throw shifter, Cobb access port. Is that a Oh yeah, uh, Sparco steering wheel, the energy uh, quick release, and uh, that actually came from his car when he upgraded to the Nardi. And then I was all like, you want it? Yeah, my, <laughs> my, I actually had an older Sparco, but it was kind of old. It was old a little ricey looking. Yeah. It didn't fit well with the car, so. Got so I was gonna ask if you guys like, swap parts or 
Yeah, we it's kind typically of like, like a trickle uh, down effect. Like when I, when I bought mine, I had extra uh, control arms uh, and just gave them to him to oh, help yeah. him his build. <laughs> Forgot about those. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Then his seats uh, were in this one, uh, and then I was gonna go with a different interior look, and he was going with blue. So I was like, "You want blue ones?" He did. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure there was so many other little the things. The intercooler also yeah, came the, from his car when he upgraded to the Grimsby. I think it's the one that yeah. you got, right? Um, so yeah, basically so. everything nice trickles down to the other two cars. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I give him crap all the time. I'm like, hey, how's that? You know, how those seats feel? And, you know, just always constantly bugging these guys. Joe's got a couple parts from me too. You know, he was talking about his uh, rear uh, strut tower bar and he, uh, I also nothing. donated him a 19 mil wrench. Yeah, so. oh, yeah. <laughs> There's a 19 mil wrench stuck somewhere in this, in one of these cavities that we were not able to get out. For it's some so reason it got it's pinned in there and yeah. That, so. Yeah, there's a little hole where the, uh, where the, the front bumper, the front the bumper rails beam, are, uh, yeah. slides into, right? And it's like stuck way in there. We had a bolt break off and we were like trying to wet, like pry it out or something like that. And so it we, got wedged itself. So. And that's, that's why his car is so heavy. Yeah. This car is that's it's so yeah. much heavier than like ours because grams. of that. <laughs> Which this is the first time he's finally figuring out why we keep calling his car the heavier of the three. That's true. <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> um, a craftsman, I think. It was probably nicer so, than the one I replaced it with. Yeah. That was a hard break, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I got you a decent one, right? I think it was okay. Yeah. It, it wasn't Harbor Freight, but it wasn't. Uh, I don't know, snap on. It wasn't a strap on. <laughs> yeah, so we, we've been like best friends since elementary. Um, and we've kind of shared hobbies throughout the years. Like we've kind of rotated out, like tried new things and then we'll go through a phase and come out of it or whatever. Um, but as we've gotten older, we've uh, kind of drifted apart. We get married, you have kids, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then you just have less and less time to hang out with friends. But um, by getting into this, like it's been an excuse for us to to get back together and and you know hang out way more often than than we, we would have otherwise. Yeah, I actually have a reason to like get together other than to you know just grab a beer or something. Uh, yeah, so it's been it's been an efficient like uh, I don't know good good use of our time. You know? Yeah. Um, Before this, it was airsofting. We did that for years for yeah. But we don't talk every about weekend. that. That's embarrassing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, Airsoft Yeah, why? <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. Uh, yeah, it's fun for a minute, I guess. Yeah. Uh, we did that pretty extensively. And then, like, we kind of, uh, like, I started getting into actual shooting sports after going through Airsoft, doing, like, competition shooting and stuff. And then they kind of were kind of getting into it, but then they kind of got out of it. And then, uh, yeah, he had a wife and kids. He got in a serious Still relationship. Do. And he, <laughs> Oh, yeah, I, I forgot. Oh I meant he, he had the kid with well, the wife. I did when I left this <laughs> morning. Thinks. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and then. The, are you married? No. no. That's why that's it's why so he's clean. Got the best car. <laughs> that's why it's so clean. Yeah, that's actually the best advice. If you want to see yeah. PC, don't get married. Don't get married right Put your wife on hold for a minute. Yeah. That's what I had to do. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think his so wife favorite. was about to leave him for a minute when we were. Because uh, we've put a. He, he bought a motor. We put it in. Well, and before we bought that, mo so I bought a motor which ended up being delivered as not the motor that it was mm -hmm. advertised as. And so I had to ship that back. And at that point, I ended up buying a donor car which had a motor which wasn't installed, but they were like, yeah, advertised. the motor's good. Rebuild. You just need to drop it did in or go? whatever. So I'm like, oh, this could be perfect. And uh, I needed a lot of other parts anyway. So it, it, it kind of worked out. I needed the wiring harness. Yeah. I needed, it had coilovers, it had a really good turbo and exhaust and a bunch of other parts. And I got a, I got a good deal on it. but. We got that engine, we installed it, started it up. It sounded okay because the exhaust was super loud, but we couldn't hear the knock. But it ended up having rod knock. And uh, so I ordered another engine, which is the, the Legacy V4 engine that's in, in it now. Um, You're yeah, a gambling my, man. My, my wife, I'm lucky she put up with me. Like, I, if I were her, I probably, I don't know, probably wouldn't have. But, yeah. but she was cool. She was super cool about it, given how much time and energy and money She's pretty still put into it. <laughs> so yeah, she's she's happy now, and like my son loves it. He's like super into cars. He's got the little uh, Hot Wheels 22B, and he sees it, and he's like, "Cars, Daddy's car!" And it's like the coolest thing. And then we go out in the garage, and he sees the real thing—not a 22B, but 
it's still cool. I'm into shooting sports, competition shooting and stuff like that. You do rifle, pistol, rifle, pistol shotgun, oh, okay. it's all of them. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's probably that and probably video games, you know. What's your, what's your favorite gun? My favorite gun that I have? Uh, probably a 2011 from STI International, my pistol. Not the car. Not the car, but yeah. It's awesome. It's the best pistol. It's my favorite gun. Can't give it enough praise. What uh, caliber? A 9 mil. Yeah, I haven't really had time for anything but cars recently. Um, most of my other time is spent doing house repairs and everything else, just kind of trying to get it. To, I've got a super old house, so just been kind of doing that lifestyle. He's uh, SDI swapping the house yeah. at this point. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I have kind of a lot of hobbies. I don't do a ton of them right now just because I've got a, a toddler at home and that kind of stuff, so that takes up most of my time. But um, That's your hobby, dude. So being a dad is, is one of my hobbies at this point. But I, I'm into uh, like photography, video stuff. Uh, I love flying drones. Um, I play guitar and do the car stuff and play video games. And during the summer, I like to camp and backpack and all that, all that good stuff. So. Yeah, I guess I, didn't, I guess I cook a lot. Yeah. Cooking is my hobby. Yeah. I, He's, he is actually a really good cook. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's my my secondary objective. Knife collections. Like knives, so, knives. Like kitchen, like, kitchen knives, yeah. yeah. Chef knives. Are you like Japanese? A, a mix, yeah. JDM knives for yeah, sure. Yeah, actually. <laughs> my initial ones are uh, Miyabi, which are kind of like an off the, off the shelf, like a uh, Japanese knife, but they're just, the story of why I bought that in the first place is we went into to the store to like test out cutting some knives and they put potato down so you can practice with it. And my girlfriend was using it and as we're walking out of the store, she's like, oh, my finger hurts. And you look down and she had cut a perfect hole out of the nail bed of her finger while she was slicing. And I turned right back around, went and bought the knives. <laughs> because I was like, yeah, hold on, yeah. let me go get these knives real yeah. quick. Yeah. Yeah. Go take it to the track, be responsible, wear a helmet, wear a condom. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks for yeah, watching. I hope watching. you enjoyed us, our awkward uh, interview about our cars. <laughs> Follow our shared page on Instagram at uh, boosty.boys. Might have already covered that, but. And then uh, I want to go over how you spell the whole thing, so there's no. Capital B. Because yeah. <laughs> boost. You can throw S-T-I a S-T-I thing on the. Oh, yeah, I'll do it. I'll do yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, we tried coming up with a better name before before coming to do this, but. But yeah, it, his page has already kind of taken off. Yeah, no, no, so, I think yeah. so. Well, it's hard, it's hard to like come up with something that hasn't been taken. And uh, except I mean, dry dudes, that's the yeah, dry the dudes yeah. is probably the available. Dry boys. <laughs> yeah, the dry boys. You'll have to be like, you'll have to be like dry boys, like four twenty one or something. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, I think we're good. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Sweet. Yeah. Hey, Mike. Hey, hey, how's it going, man? How you doing? How you doing? Yeah, so how about you? them dry dudes? <laughs> <laughs> you guys should start a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>